Welcome back to another Science Sunday. And this week I have a very fun engineering project that is also a little bit spooky, a little bit haunted, and it's perfect for the upcoming Halloween season. We are going to be creating simple circuits and we are going to place them in our very own haunted house. So we are going to do lots of engineering today. And to get started, I'm going to show you the materials you're going to need. First, we're going to need some copper tape and clear tape. We're going to need a pen to write, some scissors, two LED lights or light emitting diodes, a coin battery, construction paper in various colors. I happen to be using gray and purple. And it's just nice to have a simple circuit template. And with this template, you'll see where your light emitting diode or LED will go. You'll see the positive side. And I'll show you a completed one in a bit. And your negative side and the coin battery. They will work together to turn on your light, which will light up your haunted house. Some optional features to this project that you might want to include are some Halloween cutout pieces that you can use to decorate your haunted house. So to get started, what you're going to want to do, and I need to clear a space, is you're going to want to create a house shape with your construction paper. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to start off with gray. And the thing about the haunted house is you, I know I would like for my haunted house to stand. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and fold my construction paper. So I'm starting this way and I'm going to fold it into thirds. Kind of like a math lesson too. One third. And so I have the makings, and I'll show it to you in a bit, the makings of a tall building here. So this helps my house stand up. And then from here, I can cut out a door. I can cut out windows, and then I can decorate the door and windows. And then I can also add a roof. Um, in this case, I was going to add a purple roof here, but you can make your house purple if you want. You can use any color that you want. So let me show you my haunted house and the way I put it together. So here I have my haunted house and I have also added those fun Halloween characters there. My house is blowing away in the wind. <laughs> okay, so you can see that I have my purple roof. I have my gray building. I have cut out some windows. I have a door here and um, you can see my fun Halloween characters that I have also added and glued here. So I have my ghost sticking out of my window and I have my jack-o-lantern at the very bottom there. Now, let me show you how we're going to make this haunted house a little bit more interactive with the simple circuit so that we can have our ghost. If you can see, we have a, a little green LED light sticking out of the ghost and we want our ghost to light up. And to do that, we have to create our simple circuit. So let me show you the simple circuit and then we'll put it together. We'll put the simple circuit together with the haunted house. So when creating a simple circuit with copper tape, LED lights, and coin batteries, you um, are probably going to need a template. I know my students really use this template to 
remind them how everything comes together and works and so that our LED light can work. And um, also to just remind us that to have a functioning LED light that actually turns on, you need to make sure that you have everything placed correctly. And so the template really does help with that. And there is a lot of science behind um, a simple circuit. Here is the completed simple circuit. And I know that there happens to be a Science Sunday lesson posted on the website that goes into how simple circuits work. I just wanted to show you the completed version very quickly. You can see that I have copper tape. I'm trying to figure out how you can see that in the light. Um, I have copper tape that goes across. So this is my positive side. And then I have copper tape that goes all the way across. So this is my positive side. And then I have the copper tape touching the LED leg. So LED lights come with two legs. One happens to be longer than the other. The longer side is the positive side of your light. And then the shorter leg needs to be touching the negative side. So then here is the negative trail for the simple circuit. And then it's connected by this coin battery. I have the negative side of the coin battery facing down and the positive side of the coin battery facing up. And then what I do is I take the positive corner here with this strip of copper tape. And when I touch the positive side down onto my paper there, you can see the LED lighting up. It's really bright. <laughs> So I changed the lighting there so we could see that better. Here we go. So when the positive side of the copper tape is touching down onto the negative side of the coin battery, you have a circuit that lights up the LED. So what we wanna do next is we want to add a simple circuit to our haunted house. And what I did is I took the building portion of my house here. I cut out a door and a couple of windows. And then I'm going to add the roof to the top of the house here. Kind of like a mask, it looks kind of like a mask there, right? <laughs> And I'm going to do that now. I'm going to go ahead and tape that in, or you can use a glue stick for that. I'm going to be taping it because I don't happen to have a glue stick handy at the moment, but a glue stick will work just as fine. And so I'm going to go ahead and just make a little fold here so that my house will stand up again. Bring that back up. And oh, that looks like a funny little haunted house, doesn't it? So we'd have to make some adjustments here. <laughs> and that's just the thing about haunted houses. They never look warm and inviting. They always look a little bit silly and spooky. <laughs> and this is more like it starting to look more like a house and this is where you want to take your marker and you want to decorate so that you make your house look a little bit more haunted and lifelike which is what i've done with my example here So the next thing we want to do is we want to attach one of our Halloween characters. Um, I happen to have the ghost and a jack-o-lantern, so I'm going to attach my ghost in one of these windows here because I want to be able to light up the ghost's mouth with an LED. So here is my ghost. I'm just going to place it in one of the windows here. And then again, I can um, decide to tape it or I can use a glue stick to keep the ghost in place. There we go. I just taped my ghost there in the window. Now, this is the place where I know I'm going to want to include 
an LED. Now the first time I did this, I used green. This time around, I think I'm going to try blue. So I'm just going to take my LED and I'm going to use the legs here to poke a hole in the ghost's mouth without poking myself. And um, I want to, my light to show this way, which means that I am going to need to add the copper tape in the back along with the coin battery. And this is where that template is going to be important. I need to somehow or another draw this within my haunted house and use this template, to set up a simple circuit to make the ghost light up, to make the ghost mouth light up. And so I am going to want to draw this template inside of the haunted house. And you can see that I happen to have the LED light here. So here is where the LED light for a point. Um, this is where the LED light is in the template. And this is what I'm going to use as a point of reference as I draw the template in here. So then what I'm going to do is I need to um, determine what's going to be my positive side. This side happens to be my positive side. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a path from the positive side. And I wanna draw this path all the way down toward the door. And this is going to be my positive side. I also want to have a negative side and I'm going to draw this side, the negative side, all the way coming down along the side of the wall here. And I'm going to have my negative side coming down to meet the, the coin battery. So I'm gonna draw out where I want my coin battery. And I want to make sure that from my coin battery, that when I open the door, that I will have some copper tape that will be able to touch the coin battery. And if I miss my mark there, then um, I can see I'm going to miss my mark a little bit. Perhaps I can put my coin battery a little bit closer this way so that when that copper tape or when that door opens, and my door might need to be a little bit crooked, but that's okay because it's a haunted house. So when my door opens, I should have copper tape from the positive side touching the coin battery, which is touching the negative side, and that should light up my LED light within the ghost there, creating the simple circuit within the haunted house. I already have a completed simple circuit within my haunted house here. Um, you can see from here that I have an LED light and I happen to have a, the copper tape going down on the positive side that goes down towards the door. And over here from the ghost, I have the negative side and it goes all the way towards the coin battery. And then when I open the door, the positive side happens to touch the negative side of the coin battery. And you can even see that the LED is lighting up. And this one happens to be that green LED. And I know I was going to try the blue LED on my other ghost in my other example. So I'll put that together and show that to you as well. So let me lift it up this way. You can see the simple circuit and that template really did help with this particular project and show you that template. Here is the template. You can see that I have the LED and the positive side. And then um, that positive side happens to be going towards the door. Then I have the coin battery that goes all the way up to the ghost. I've started to run copper tape down on the negative side from my ghost with the blue LED. So I have the copper tape running down to my negative side. The copper tape is like a sticker and it takes patience 
to lay that copper tape down. But for some reason, I find this project to be quite relaxing. Okay, so I have my negative side down and now I'm going to use the copper tape and I'm going to work on the positive side of the simple circuit. So now I've added the copper tape on the positive side of the house here and um, I'm ready to add the coin battery to see if this LED will light up. I should mention that I also added clear tape to hold the LED in place. So the coin battery, I wanna make sure that I have the negative side down, touching the negative part of the copper tape. And I want the positive side up so that it can touch the positive side of the copper tape. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape the coin battery down, leaving a space because I wanna make sure that the copper tape actually touches the battery itself and not the clear tape that I'm placing here. But I want the coin battery to be supported here. So I'm going to open this door and see if it will light up. Oh, it's already lighting up. And I'm gonna turn off the light so you can see that. You can see the blue light coming from the back of the ghost there. So let's see this standing up. And I'm gonna leave that door open just to see if that ghost, if the mouth of the ghost will light up and it sure does. So we have this haunted house and we have this haunted house. And before you know it, you'll have a whole neighborhood of haunted houses. <laughs> well, at least I feel like I do because my students are all working on their haunted houses and it's just nice to have them um, lined up in the classroom and watch the various circuits light up the, the different lights in their different Halloween characters. And so I know that this one involved a little bit more engineering, um, but I know that my students and I really enjoyed it. So let's talk about the engineering behind the simple circuit and the haunted house that we've worked on today. So when we're talking about the engineering design process, we want to ask questions. We want to imagine and plan what it is that we're going to create. Then we're going to actually create, test and improve, and then communicate. With this particular haunted house project, there was a lot happening, a lot of science happening and a lot of engineering for sure. So exploring through engineering, um, we can ask, can you create a haunted house that lights up? Other questions we can ask, we can ask, can your haunted house stand up? Can you, can you include Halloween characters onto your haunted house? So there's a lot of questions um, that you can ask of students as they begin engineering this type of project. When testing your haunted house, um, obviously, by creating a simple circuit, you can watch to see whether your simple circuit was able to light up the haunted house or the various characters within the house. In my case, it was, can the simple circuit light up the ghost's mouth within the haunted house? And you can see that it does. And then finally, we want to think of ways that we can improve. How can you make your design better? Can you add more than one light to your haunted house? So if I added another character here off to the side, can I make both lights turn on with one simple circuit and one coin battery? So we always want to think of ways that we can challenge our students and um, ask them to think of ways to improve their design. So I hope you found this project to be as spectacular as I did. Happy Halloween, everyone. <laughs>